Alright guys, I'm back with another tutorial, uh, Two Worlds 2. Uh, this is just going to be one for increasing your level on it, on, for online, and you can do the, you can use the same thing for single player if you want to. It'll just be a little different, not that much at all, but most of it will be the same. This will also be a foundation for uh, the rest of Two Worlds 2, like what else you can mod on it. But I'm just going over the basic, uh, increase your level, which will give you the skill points and the tribute points. It, have for however much higher level you go. All right. So, anyways, what we're gonna do is first go to uh, this uh, attribute skill page with all your skills and whatnot on it, and you're gonna uh, write down or memorize if you can if you're a G like that. Memorize the left side of the experience. So you're gonna see uh, the EXP. Memorize the left side and and write that number down, preferably. And then um, after you do that. Pretty much that's all you're going to need for this tutorial, just for your level. And uh, after that, you're just going to save your character, which is as simple as uh, pretty much pressing the quit button and going out. And now that I am on online mode right now, I'm in my village. So that's, that's all you got to do. And uh, we got to transfer it over to PC. So I'll see you there. All right, guys. So now we're on the PC. Now what we need to do is get our save off of uh, your hard drive, USB, whatever you use, whatever you chose to transfer your save. Uh, most people should be good at this if you're watching this. If you're not, that's fine. I use Export 360 with the transfer cable. You can use USB or whatever, but I use Export 360 and that's why I usually use. So what we're going to do is go to Two Worlds 2 folder um, and get this file out for a multiplayer character. You're going to get this file out and uh, just drag it to your desktop would be the best uh, yeah sorry I already had one previously don't worry about that you shouldn't get that but now that you see they have my two worlds two character uh, file NPC file here so now what you gotta do is uh, you're going to open that up in Modio alright so what I do uh, open Modio up and just drag it on there file contents and extract again I use Modio you can use whatever you want but Save it to the desktop, same same name, MP care. Alright, you're good. As you see it's saved right there. So now what you want to do is uh you got the MP character file. Now what you need to do is get the another file out of the MP care file. Alright. So we're gonna do for that is offset packs it. Alright. I'll provide the link if uh, I, mean, I already did it for uh for a uh, Bioshock 2 tutorial so no problem so now um, uh, for the input you're gonna have your MP care file ah, there it is. and now for your output we'll do a desktop because it works better desktop uh, you, what I found is that uh, if uh, you do it with the in, into a folder and it usually messes up somewhere or something along the line so I just always do it to the desktop uh, leave all these the same. You're okay with that. And I usually do show console makes it go a little faster and not, not that much, but still a little. You'll be able to see. You should get something like that. It'll be real quick. All right, and that that's gonna get your file that you need out of there. This is gonna have your stats on it and all all that good jolly stuff. So now you can finally open up your hex editor. I'll provide you with a link to everything I use. So don't worry. All right, so now that you get Ugh, sorry, my your hex editor open. What you gotta do is just drag that file or open it up in the hex editor. Now you see uh, I'm using Hex Workshop. I just open the o o o o o o one c dot da t file in there. Now if you get something other than that when you, you extract it, then you fucked up somewhere. I can't tell you where, but you fucked up somewhere. Make sure you need to get that file exact. All right. So now that you get that file, uh, it's pretty much easy runnings from here. But um, this is going to be somewhat like the Bioshock 2, or the Oblivion tutorial almost, where you're going to have to buy flip. So, uh, what now you're going to have to do is recall that number that you have. Right right here you see that I have a picture of it. My number's 3775, you can read. Alright, so now what you got to do is convert that to hexadecimal. Alright, uh, Hex Workshop has a base converter in it, but you can go to Google and find one. It works the same. So what you're going to do is... Uh, for you're gonna convert this decimal, so my my number for example is three seven seven five six one zero. All right, that's my number. So 
now that you have your number converted to hexadecimal, you're going to input this. You're going to byte flip it first and then find that that byte flipped number. All right, so the way you do this is, for those that don't know how to byte flip, it's like oblivion. If you know that, then you're good. But if you don't, then here's how you do it. You read it backwards in pairs, all right? I'll show you this a little closer. So you see that I have 7, or 00399C7A, all right? So what we're going to do is read it backwards in pairs. Here you go. 7A, all right, 7A, 9C, 9C, 39, and then 00. And make sure you uh, that for the type you find a hex value and direction down if you're up at the top. All right, find all instances. There should only be one. If there's not, then uh, I don't know. Then you just you fucked up or you're just amazing. You have two of the exact same numbers somehow. Anyways, find all instances. Okay, mine found one. As you see, found one. We're good. So now you're going to need this base converter yet again to uh, come up with a brilliant number that you want your character to be. Now this is experience number. This is not your level. So uh, for the purpose of this, uh, let's see what one billion is. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eh, that looks good. Nah. Now let's be a, a jackass and do nine billion. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Alright, so now that I have my big ass number over here, you're going to have to read the number that you want it to be, uh, byte flipped. Yet again, so you're going to have to byte flip it again. So here it goes. Uh, another example of byte flip. Zero, zero for my number. E9. And then A4. And then three five. I don't know exactly what level this is, but you can play around with it all day, all night, whatever you float your boat, captains. But now that you uh, got that, you're good. Um, this will be the obviously, like I said, the same uh, the foundation for you because you'll probably use this throughout modding two worlds too. You, you can go on and find your own values of whatever you want to find, and you just have to pretty much bite flip. I'm pretty sure everything, but. Anyways, you're good there. Save this. Saved. We're okay. Exit out of that. You don't need it anymore. Now, what you're going to need to do is inject this. Oh, 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 yeah. That, you're going to need to inject that back into your MP character. And what you're gonna, how you're going to do that is with Packzip. There should be a little tab up here called Backzip. You shouldn't, if you, again, watch the Bioshock 2, you should already know. Source will be your uh, OO file. There it is. And your target will be your MP care. Because you're injecting the source file back into into the, a target file. So, uh, what your offset, your offset is going to be uh, 0x1c. It's pretty much just going to be this last two digits right there or number and digit alright and then um, once you got that leave everything the same you're good it should say successfully written bam you're okay don't need that anymore so now you have this MP character file alright and now what you need to do is resign that because it has a checksum on it and you need to resign it alright so what you need to do real quick is uh, get your resigner out alright Here's the resigner. Bam. Fairchild, thank you for making this. Alright. You see that? You're good there. So now, uh, what you can do is just drag it in there. Just drag in the DOS command prompt right here. And not press enter. Alright, don't do that. Take it back. What you're going to do is open up command prompt. All right, so now they open up command prompt. What we're gonna do is uh, press CD, and that'll be change drive. And then what you want to do is the only downside of this is uh, it, there's probably a better way to do this, but I just been doing it this way, so that's why I do it. What we're gonna do is go to your desktop and get that location for your desktop. 
you're going to get that location and uh, you're going to go change drive and I'm just going to paste that location and it should change it to that location for the desktop. Alright, so now all I got to do is uh, type in TW2 Resigner. Yeah, there you go. And then MP Care. Alright, and that will resign it. Should say this. Again, thank you, Fairchild, but should say that. You're good. Uh, now you don't need to use this anymore for right now. Now what you need to do is put this back in your awesome uh, two worlds to mp character file all right the way you do this is easily by modio all right and all you got to do is uh, right click on mp character or mp care sorry and replace file with mp care all right now that you're good replaced rehash resign you're good put it back on your uh, hard drive Again, I'll use this. I'm just going to, uh, actually, I'm going to delete this and then put it back on there. You're good. Now, you just got to head back over to uh, Two Worlds 2 and have some fun real quick. All right, guys. So now I'm loading up my village. All right. That's just the example place I was at. So I'm going to load it up there. All right. So it should be almost done, hopefully. And let's see. It should work, obviously. Uh, let's, let's go to it and make sure. Um, go to the skill tab and look, 9 million, yeah, that awesome number. Now you're going to see that you didn't level up yet, or you haven't done shit pretty much. Nothing happened. And don't flip a switch and go ape shit on everything and say that this didn't work. Because you're going to have to go and kill something real quick. So, in my village, I have a uh, attack, like always, like every day. It's like Mexicans coming across the border and it's just consistent and never ending but here it goes I'm gonna go kill them real quick they're walking trees alright that's cool so right when I kill one you'll see that I leveled up I'm just gonna run away from these bitches alright so now you see I leveled up and now I'm at 390 so obviously the experience is endless you can do whatever the fuck you want but I just did that for example so thanks for watching guys again thanks to Fairchild for his resigner really helped a bunch and uh, request a tutorial if you want to I, I try to get to it as soon as possible but if I can't I'm very very sorry but um, and that's all thanks for watching guys and have fun with this shit